Evangelism, Wikipedia Audio In Christianity, evangelism is the commitment to or act of publicly preaching of the gospel with the intention of spreading the message and teachings of Jesus Christ. Christians who specialize in evangelism are often known as evangelists, whether they are in their home communities or living as missionaries in the field, although some Christian traditions refer to such people as missionaries in either case. Some Christian traditions consider evangelists to be in a leadership position, they may be found preaching to large meetings or in governance roles. Christian groups who encourage evangelism are sometimes known as evangelistic or evangelist. The scriptures do not use the word evangelism, but evangelist is used in Acts 21,8, Ephesians 4,11, and 2 Timothy 4,5. Etymology The word evangelist comes from the Koine Greek word epsilon alpha gamma gamma lambda iota omicron nu via latinist evangelium as used in the canonical titles of the four Gospels, authored by Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. The Greek word epsilon alpha gamma gamma lambda iota omicron nu originally meant a reward given to the messenger for good news and later good news itself. The verb form of euangelion, occurs rarely in older Greek literature outside the New Testament, making its meaning more difficult to ascertain. Parallel texts of the Gospels of Luke and Mark reveal a synonymous relationship between the verb euangelizo and a Greek verb kiraso, which means to proclaim. Christians would clearly distinguish between evangelism and proselytism with the latter being viewed as unethical because it involves the abuse of people's freedom and the distortion of the gospel of grace by means of coercion, deception, manipulation, and exploitation. Within Christianity, the label of proselytism generally arises when one group does not approve of the missional activities of another, particularly when one group is losing members or the potential exists for this to occur. Different denominations follow different theological interpretations which reflect upon the point of who is doing the actual conversion, whether the evangelist or the Holy Spirit or both. Calvinists, for example, believe the soul is converted only if the Holy Spirit is effective in the act. Catholic missionary work in Russia is commonly seen as evangelism, not proselytism. Archbishop Kondrusiu has openly stated, that proselytism is absolutely unacceptable and cannot constitute a strategy for the development of our structures either in Russia or in any other country in the world. Especially regarding claims by the Orthodox Church that spreading the faith and receiving converts amounts to proselytism. The Catholic Church's Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith issued a document called Doctrinal Note on Some Aspects of Evangelization which states that evangelism is an inalienable right and duty, an expression of religious liberty, and added, the incorporation of new members into the Church is not the expansion of a power group, but rather entrance into the Network of friendship with Christ which connects heaven and earth, different continents, and age. It is entrance into the gift of communion with Christ. In recent history, certain Bible passages have been used to promote evangelism. William Carey, in a book entitled, An Inquiry into the Obligations of Christians to Use Means for the Conversion of the Heathens popularized a quotation, where, according to the Bible, during his last days on earth Jesus commanded his eleven disciples as follows. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. However, Recent scholarship by Chris Wright and others has suggested that such activity is promoted by the entire Bible, or at least the wider term mission, 
although the meaning of the word mission and its relationship to evangelism is disputed amongst Christians. Breaking from tradition and going beyond television and radio a wide range of methods have been developed to reach people not inclined to attend traditional events in churches or revival meetings. Proselytism Dramas such as Heaven's Gates, Hell's Flames have gained enormous popularity since the 1980s. These dramas typically depict fictional characters who die and learn whether they will go to heaven or hell. The child evangelism movement is a Christian evangelism movement that originated in the 20th century. It focuses on the 414ths window which centers on evangelizing children between the ages of 4 and 14 years old. Beginning in the 1970s, a group of Christian athletes known as the Power Team spawned an entire genre of Christian entertainment based on strongman exploits mixed with a Christian message and usually accompanied by an opportunity to respond with a prayer for salvation. Other entertainment-based Christian evangelism events include comedy, live theater, and music. The Christian music industry has also played a significant role in modern evangelism. Rock concerts in which the artist exhort non-believing attendees to pray a prayer for salvation have become common, and just as common are concerts that are focused on activity not necessarily on prayer and conversion thus forming an environment that is not driven by conversion, but instead relaying of a message. Evangelists such as Reinhard Bonk conduct mass evangelistic crusades around the world. Hundreds of church denominations and organizations participate in an evangelism movement known as the Billion Soul Harvest, which is a comprehensive initiative to convert a billion people to Christianity. Sometimes, the regular minister of a church is called a preacher in a way that other groups would typically use the term pastor. The evangelist in some churches is one that travels from town to town and from church to church, spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Many Christians of various theological perspectives would call themselves evangelists because they are spreaders of the gospel. Many churches believe one of their major functions is to function as evangelists to spread the evangelist belief that Jesus is Savior of humanity. Modern Methods Evangelists The title of evangelist is often associated with those who lead large meetings like those of Billy Graham, Luis Palau, and J.A. Perez possibly in tents or existing church buildings or those who address the public in street corner preaching, which targets listeners who happen to pass nearby. It can also be done in small groups or even on a one-to-one -one basis, but actually it is simply one who spreads the gospel. Increasingly, the Internet enables anyone to become an Internet evangelist. Missionary Work Footnotes the New Testament urges believers to speak the gospel clearly, fearlessly, graciously, and respectfully whenever an opportunity presents itself, incumbent upon a commitment to hold and revere God as the core-slash-center of their lives. Throughout most of its history, Christianity has been spread evangelistically, though the extent of evangelism has varied significantly between Christian communities and denominations. Evangelism, apologetic, and apostolic ministry often go hand in hand. An pi sigma tau omicron lambda omicron is literally one who is ordered forth and refers to the missionary calling of being ordered forth into the world by the initiation of God. An example of an interplay between evangelism and apologetic can be seen in the USA when upon door-to-door -door evangelism the prospect is an unbeliever and challenges the evangelist wherein the evangelist then follows into the role of the apologist in defense of their faith with the hope that evangelism may be restarted. Since missionaries often travel to areas or people groups where Jesus is not yet known, 
they frequently take on an evangelistic role. But the apostolic or missionary calling is not necessarily the same, as there are many who serve in missionary, church planting, and ministry development roles who have an apostolic calling or serve in an apostolic role but whose primary duty is not evangelism.